I'm in Prague, where the beer is known to be cheaper than water, and I'm on a mission today to see how much I can really do here with 1,200 Czech crowns, which is about 50 euros. Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, known for its fairy tale views, charming cobblestone streets, beer, and hearty cuisine. It also happens to be my hometown, and for tourists, it's a popular, affordable destination. Let's go spend some money. Our first must-have is a public transportation ticket. Even though Prague is easily walkable, there might be moments you just want to hop on a tram or the metro. You can find ticket machines at some stations, but there is also an app that I find more convenient. This is the Litachka app. I would grab a 24-hour ticket, which covers buses, metros, trams, and regional trains, all for 120 crowns, which is about 5 euros. And I think that's a really good deal. But for now, I'm going for a stroll. Being in Prague is like walking through an open-air museum. There are so many beautiful sights to take in for free, like the iconic Old Town Square and its surrounding streets and alleyways. And the famous Charles Bridge that crosses over the Vltava River. The city's entire historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Over on this side of the Charles Bridge, I'll show you one of my personal favorite spots, which is also free to see, the John Lennon Wall. Let's go. A wall transformed into a riot of color and messages. Lenin was a symbol of freedom for the Czech youth, and after he was shot in 1980, his portrait appeared on this wall, a subversive message to the country's communist regime at the time. Today, it's a constantly changing canvas for visitors from all over the world. Looks like this year, the wall is a little overcrowded with signatures and stickers, but maybe some of you artists watching can come pay to visit sometime. I'm in need of a little coffee break, so I'm checking out this cafe here. The average price of coffee can range from 30 to 90 Czech crowns. I spent 85 crowns, about 3 euros 50, on my flat white. Amazing, thank you. So now I want to take the tram to get closer to the Prague Castle area. So I'm going to activate that 24-hour ticket. And activation takes about two minutes, so keep that in mind before boarding anything. This year, leisure magazine Time Out ranked Prague as having the second best transport system in the world. It's convenient and spectacular. For example, trams ride along the Vltava River, giving you pretty impressive views. Roaming the grounds of the Prague Castle is free of charge. Exploring the open space and taking in the sights from the outside alone is already impressive. This is one of my favorite moments. Walking out in front of the cathedral, you just get this overwhelming feeling of the immensity and the stunning architecture. I just love it. I'm going to take a closer look by paying 250 crowns or 10 euros for access to the basic circuit, which includes the old royal palace, whose halls are used for inaugurations and is home to a replica of the Bohemian crown jewels. St. George's Basilica, with its austere and Romanesque interior. St. Vitus Cathedral, which I already admired from the outside, its construction took nearly 600 years to finish. And it has breathtakingly colorful stained glass windows. Honestly, this church never fails to impress me. And the Golden Lane, a medieval street of small homes built for the guards of the castle in the 16th century. 
one of which has an exhibit full of knight's armor and weaponry. Later, the bohemian novelist Franz Kafka lived here in house number 22. Now I'm going to show you something very special. One really cool thing about the 24-hour ticket is you can ride a funicular with it. I love these things. It was always something a little new and different to ride when I was younger. The Petschien Funicular Railway has been around since 1891. So cool. This brings us up to Petschien Hill, where you'll find something that resembles a famous Parisian landmark. Apparently, the peak of this thing is at the same altitude as the Eiffel Tower, so we call it our Prague Eiffel Tower. Unfortunately, climbing up doesn't quite fit into my budget at 300 crowns, or 12 euros, but this is still a great place to wander around and enjoy the park and its views. So I've already done and seen quite a lot today, and I've still got about 30 euros left in the bank. That should be plenty to go eat some food, try some beers, and do a few other things. Let's go. After all that sightseeing, I'm starving. My tip is to hit up a cozy pub or a laid-back gastro pub for Czech food to avoid being super overcharged. I'm so excited. My favorite Czech comfort food fits into my budget. I'm going to get myself a svičkova for 10 euros and a small beer for 2 euros. <laughs> that smells so good. Svichkova, bread dumplings with beef sirloin swimming in a root vegetable sauce, topped off with cranberry preserve. Oh my god. I've been dreaming about this all day. Now that I've refueled, I'm ready to keep exploring. Next, I'm checking out the Jewish Quarter, or Yosefov, which was once a Jewish ghetto during the 12th century. Here you will find the Prague Jewish Museum and the Old New Synagogue, among many other sites with a rich history. But I'm here looking for dessert. This is my local tip for the best trdelnik, or chimney cake in English, in town. These are a little bit cheaper than what you'll find over in the old town and come in a decent size. And of course, it's kosher. I got myself an original plain trdelnik for 80 crowns, or around 3 euros 30. It's a kind of spit cake made from a light dough coated in sugar that's loved throughout Prague. All right, let's try it out. Oh my god, that's so good. Soft on the inside, crispy on the outside, and still warm. Delicious. I've seen plenty of sights just by walking and getting around with the tram. But what if I told you there's another way? With the Vltava River flowing through the city, of course boat paddling is a delightful way to experience the city's unique charm. You can rent these cute paddle boats for 300 crowns, or 12 euros 30 per hour. This is quite the workout, actually. <laughs> As you paddle along the water, you'll be treated to some breathtaking views. I'm ending my day at Letna Park. By the metronome art installation, the former base at which once stood a statue of Stalin, you'll find plenty of young people hanging out and taking in the views. I'm going to kick back a little further down at the Letna Park Beer Garden. This park and beer garden hold a special place in my heart because we used to hang out here back in the day with friends. Got myself a half liter beer for about 67 crowns, which is about 2.70 euros. And we were well within our budget today, so cheers to that. Nazaravid. 
admiring Prague's gorgeous views, enjoying a coffee, discovering the castle grounds, riding a funicular, boat paddling, and enjoying Czech food and drinking beer all cost me around 50 euros. Visiting Prague on a budget-friendly adventure in one day is in fact possible. If you want to see more budget videos like this one, subscribe to our channel.